We are back at the House of Action. There's the equalizer looking a lot like Nord, but it's really the equalizer. And Barry Owen will make the announcement of our next match. Ladies and gentlemen, your next event of the evening will be one fall. Introducing in the ring at this time, weighing 310 pounds, introducing the equalizer. His opponent from Oregon City, weighing 265 pounds, introducing Larry Oliver. Young Larry Oliver, uh, greener than a rookie. But boy, I tell you, he's certainly making his mark in uh, the Pacific Northwest pro wrestling circles, and he just got uh, thrown out of the ring, made another mark there on the mat. That's not exactly the kind of mark he wants to make. This young man, however, boy, he fights with a lot of spirit, a lot, a lot of soul, and a lot of heart. And, of course, he comes from pretty darn good pro wrestling stock. His dad, Rip Oliver, has taught him a lot, and this young man has learned a lot, and learned it very quickly. Arm bar on the equalizer. And he's, he's fighting a big man. Of course, I'm telling you, Larry Oliver, as young as he is, he is a big young man himself. Oh, this crowd loves Larry Oliver. Another reminder, next Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Dahl comes back to the Pacific Northwest. He'll be here next Saturday night. And so will a rock and roll band called Stepmother, and so will Bill Prescott from KGON. And we're going to have a rock and roll party with Steve Dahl next Saturday night. Look out! Oh, Larry says, look what I found, huh? Got a size 15 boot here in my chest. I think I'll give it a twirl around and oh, man. Did not knock the man down, though. He, he did not knock him down. Equal, well, he knocked him out. That's good enough. All right, there he goes. Equalizer, a big, big man. And uh, Larry hit him with <laughs> a tremendous shot and just kind of knocked him against the ropes. But I think uh, kind of took kind of the stuffings out of Equalizer, and he eventually fell out. Tonight, we've got country music here at the House of Action, the Virgil Lee Country Band, uh, playing up a country storm. And later on, they're going to be playing for the sing-off between the grappler and Scotty the Body, the sing-off. A pro wrestling sing-off. Where do you see that and hear it? Oh, nice uh, kind of an arm drag takedown by Larry Oliver on the equalizer. I think that was a movie made up as he uh, got into it. What got the job done? Equalizer's trying to figure it out. And he's got that left arm still locked in to that arm bar with the pressure points at the elbow and the shoulder. Larry Oliver holding his own, doing a good job against the much bigger equalizer. Also, next Saturday night, well, actually, tonight, I still don't know what's going to happen with our Northwest Heavyweight Championship match. Tonight, uh, Scotty the Body is going to be fighting somebody. It will not be Billy Jack now. Billy has been injured, and uh, also he's, he, uh, the commission doctor has said he will not fight tonight. All right, equalizer rolls out of that uh, two count. So Billy Jack Haynes not battling tonight for the championship. But Scotty the Body will be battling somebody, and we'll find out a little bit later who that somebody is going to be. Another reminder that Monday, the 4th of June, we're going to be taking over the city of Roseburg at the Douglas County Fairgrounds starting at 8 o'clock. You can get your tickets at the door at 7. Grudge tag match on the card there in Roseburg. Oh, what a, what a back crusher by the equalizer on Larry Oliver. This could be the beginning of the end of this match right here because that, that was a tremendous backbreaker, but he's not going to finish him off. He's going to throw him outside. Well, that'll give Larry a little bit of time to recuperate. Well, very little time is exactly what he's going to have because there's the equalizer outside to meet him. What's he going to do? Oh, it smashes him into the apron of the ring. And, of course, working on that on the small of the back. And that's uh, getting smaller every time. And a hard smash right into the chest. Another one that cut Larry right in the face. Oh, that's fur-covered boots crashing into the face of Larry Oliver. Larry trying to get to his feet. Tuesday, the 5th of June in Tigard at the Armory, starting at 8 o'clock. Wednesday, the 6th in the Dowd at the Armory, 8 o'clock bell time. There's a tremendous smash across the chest of Larry Oliver. That really, really stings into the ropes, goes Larry. Here comes Equalizer coming off the rope. He just drives into Larry. Kind of a football uh, tackling smash into Larry goes down and actually I think the equalizer is uh, he's the one that's holding Larry up right now especially with the bear hug forcing the uh, air right out of Larry Oliver 
Larry's going to have to draw on some kind of reserve power and strength on this one because he is re really taking a beating in there at the hands and the feet of the equalizer. Equalizer still with that bear hug on Larry Oliver. Mark this one down. Friday the 8th, we're going to be in Eugene to the Lane County Fairgrounds at Royal Rumble for $2,000 on the line. A Royal Rumble in Eugene. You folks in Eugene, call and reserve your tickets. 484-0840. Larry trying to sting his way out of there, and he does. He gets out of that grasp of the bear hug of the equalizer, but only to take some hard smashes and a knee lift, and Larry is down again. So we have action from uh, Roseburg to Eugene. And in between, we got Tiger and the Dalles. And the next Saturday night, of course, right here at the Portland Sports Arena, the House of Action. And boy, we're going to have action next Saturday night. Steve Dahl coming back. And it's going to be a rock and roll party here at the House of Action. And once again, the bear hug by the equalizer on uh, Larry Oliver. The crowd trying to get behind Larry, shouting encouragement and shouting Larry, Larry, Larry. I don't know if Larry can hear that. But we know what fan power can do, right? We know it can do for the Portland Trail Blazers. We also know what it can do right here at the Portland Sports Arena. When the fans get behind you, it just gives you a certain extra measure of strength and power and heart, and you take it to the opponent. And that's what Larry is going to have to draw on here pretty quickly as the equalizer really got that crusher-type bear hug on Larry Oliver. Larry coming back with a hard smash cut. The equalizer right in the left eye. There's another smash. His rendition of the uh, Big Bertha. And that's back to Equalizer off. And there he goes again. Coming right back for that bear hug. Again, working on that weak spot. He has already created a weak spot. And that being the small of the back of Larry Oliver. And uh, working on it as any good pro wrestler or any good uh, professional combatant will do. Whether it's a boxer or a wrestler. You create a weak spot and then you go right after it. And now Larry trying to pop his way out of there. The little bell ringer. And he, he does momentarily, but the equalizer comes back. Equalizer's just a big, big, vicious fighter, a big man. And that's what you're going to do. Leave Larry in or kick him out. There's now he's going to more hard driving smashes to the back and the shoulder. In the back again of Larry Oliver. Referee Sandy Barr trying to keep the equalizer back. Hey, come on, give the man a break. Let him get back on his feet. And equalizer, oh, no, 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 no. He's not going for the garbage can. Oh, crying out loud. He's got the, he's going to be talking trash again. There he goes, smashing himself in the head. That's his wake-up call. That. No, oh, he rolls him up. Has he got him? Equalizer. He turned his back. He went for his garbage and then landed on his can. And Larry Oliver gets the victory. Now, don't you dare go away because right, right after we come back, we're going to have the Fiesta Garden and the sing-off. It's coming up right after this. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on a second. You, lucky. you better be watching every corner, everywhere you go. Because I hate it. And I'm going to inflict pain and put merciful hands on this boy every chance I get. All right. All right, now we'll be right back with the sing-off and the garden right after this. When you feel so thirsty, then you gotta have a drink. Get some RC Cola. It's an instant win. Thousands of prizes under RC Cola labels. And in the bottom inside of RC Cola cans. It's an instant win with RC Cola. Hundreds of Bayliner boats. Picnic tables. Fishing rods and reels. It's an instant win with RC Cola. Look under the labels. Look inside the can. It's an instant win with Diet RC. It's an instant win with RC Cola. The Blues are coming to town, and the runway is right through your living room. Like magic, KPTV brings this year's air show to the airwaves before the engines even have a chance to cool. Sunday, June 17th, KPTV 12 clears the Blue Angels for landing on your TV set, along with all the hot performers at this year's Rose Festival Air Show. So hang on to your seat. Sunday, June 17th, KPTV 12 brings the magic in the air home to you. A public service announcement from the Department of Justice Office of Special Counsel. Do you know your rights as an employee? Under the law, an employer cannot fire or refuse to hire you based on your citizenship status or national origin. Now, if you feel that you've been a victim of discrimination, there is help available. The Office of Special Counsel for Immigration-Related Unfair Employment Practices 
is there to help you. Call toll-free 1-800-255-7688.